everyone. I have another story for you. I wonder which story is under the story blanket today. Let's have a look. This story is called There's a Bear on My Chair and it's by Ross Collins. One name on the front cover. That means Ross Collins wrote the words and drew the pictures. Let's have a look at the blurb on the back. We do not make a happy pair, a mouse and a bear with just one chair. There's the chair there. There's a bear on my chair. There's a bear on my chair. He is so big, it's hard to share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair, a mouse and bear with just one chair. him a nasty glare he seems completely unaware I don't know what he's doing there that bear who's sitting on my chair there goes the nasty glare I must admit he has some flair he has fine taste in leisure wear I'm fond of how he does his hair but still I wish he was not there I'll try to tempt him with a pear to lure him from my favourite chair. But he just leaves it sitting there. Why won't he go back to his lair? Free pear. Perhaps if I give him a scare, I'll jump out in my underwear. But no, of course, he does not care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. Handsome. I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that. I am aware. But still, I cannot stand this bear. His shirt says, endangered. Oh no, look at the wee mouse. going now. I don't know where. The mouse is gone and now look what the bear is doing. Oh, the bear is going to his home. I bet you know what that home's called. Right, an igloo. Hey, there's a mouse in my house. <laughs> oh, the wee mouse is so happy, sleeping on the bear's bed. <laughs> oh, I wonder what will happen next in that story. Because that's the end of the book. I wonder if you can tell an adult what you think will happen next. Well, that story made me laugh. I hope it made you laugh too. Have a lovely day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.